Hello, my lovely cryptids, and welcome to a little episode of Siren Speaks. Now, <laughs> if you've never heard one of these before, this isn't quite a story time, but more of a siren showing up and proving, well, that I'm not dead. Unfortunately, the plague hit me over this last little bit, so I've been recuperating from that. Thankfully, I'm doing much better, but I can still hear it a little bit in my own voice, so not quite up to my standards for recording. After all, I do like to have my cryptids have the very best of what I can offer. So, that being said, you do get a little update today. The current plan going forward is going to be for some spooky projects. Now, obviously one of them is going to be one of my personal favorites, Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. I know it's a classic, but really, it's a classic for a reason. It's always been one of my favorites, and really, it was one of the first pieces of literature that really got me dipped into the spooky side of things. Now, for the rest of the spooky season, what I have planned are a few of my own writings. <laughs> As I'm sure some of you have seen, I do a little bit of writing of my own, not just reading other stories. Well, a couple of those are what I call the meat market. Now, they are a little bit darker, and perhaps a little disturbing for some, so they will be separated into their own playlist. I know that some people aren't into that sort of thing, including one of the, well, more disturbing tales, but I'm happy to share them with those who want them. Of course, in addition to that, I am working on another story that was brought to me by my muse. The current working title is smoke and spiderwebs, but that might change. It's going to be a little story about what happens when you delve into our kind of pleasures, and when you mix it with a little bit of herbal smoke. I'm sure you know what I mean. That one is coming along, but unfortunately with the plague, it has slowed me down a little bit. However, it is still in the works. And of course, Somewhere thrown in there is going to be another tale that I've found in my wanderings. Kneel for me. I'm sure some of you have read it before, but with the author's permission, I do plan on turning that into one of my recordings as well. I certainly hope you all will love it. So, until our next meeting, ta-ta!